Good morning, everyone. My name is Masahiro Tanaka from University of Tsukuba. I talk about PW Rake, uh, I call it break for short, which is I am developing as a di distributed workflow engine for e-science. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Masahiro Tanaka. Uh, I am the author of NRA. Uh, how many people in this room know about NRA? Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, I am not going to about NRA today. I originally majored in astronomy, but I am not now working on computer science as a research fellow at the Center for Computational Sciences, University of Tsukuba since 2009. Let me introduce the Center for Computational Sciences. Its research fields of very wide. Computer science field includes high performance computing and computational informatics. And also computational science field includes particle physics, astrophysics, material science, life science, biology, environmental science. And also the center operates three supercomputers. By the way, do you know SC10, which is a conference on supercomputer? SC10 is held next week in here, New Orleans. It is so large that more than 10,000 people participate. And the venue is very close from here. Our institute, Center for Computational Sciences, University of Tsukuba, exhibits in SC10. Then today's topic, break a distributed workflow engine for e-science. I start with introduction. Uh, big science tends to be conducted under international collaboration. Typical exa examples are LHC, Large Hadron Collider at the sun, which is a particle physics experiment. And the other, other one is ALMA, Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile, which is a facility of radio astronomical telescope. Research in international collaboration requires geographically distributed computer resources. This slide shows an uh, example of particle physics. Uh, grid computer systems are uh, developed for share the data produced from lattice QCD simulation. The point here is uh, computer and network infrastructure is inevitable for scientists to access large scale sci scientific data. E-science is a term for large-scale science which requires distributed computers. From Wikipedia, e-science is computationally intensive science that is carried out in highly distributed network environment, or science that uses immense data sets that require great computing. The term was created by John Taylor Director General of the United Kingdom's Office of Science and Technology in 1999. In order to achieve in science, distributed computing is a key issue. Distributed computing is important also due to the end of Moore's law. That is, the performance of a single core does not more increase. This topic is as famous as Jim Warwick talked uh, in Rubicon 2008 and the Matt talked in his keynote in Rubicon last year. In order to make use of multiple multi core, you need to parallelize your program. For parallel programming, scalability is a key issue. This is well-known Amdahl's law, which it must be 
considered for parallel computing. If P is the pro proportion of a program that can be made in made parallel, then Y minus one minus P is the proportion that cannot be parallelized. If any processors are used, the speed up is expressed as this formula. And this figure shows there is a maximum speed up when P is less than one. So in parallel programming, it is important to maximize parallel portion of program. There are several parallel programming models. Recent popular model is MapReduce. In scientific computing, MPI and op OpenMP is commonly used. In some cases, general thread programming is used and uh, new parallel programming languages are so emerging. These parallel programming models are not easy, but in contrast, processes are easily parallelized. It does not require parallel programming. Assume that you have a set of input files. In this case, independent processes can be parallelized without pro parallel programming. However, if the task dependency becomes complex, it needs workflow system. So let's move on to the next topic, scientific workflow. Uh, scientific workflow is a description of scientific data processing and analysis. It is similar to a task built to a program. However, scientific workflow tends to be more complicated. A workflow I is often represented as a graph. A graph consists of nodes and edges. Tasks and files are represented by node. If task reads or writes a file, the task and the file are connected to each other by directed edge, which is indicated as an arrow. In this presentation, task node is indicated by ellipse node and the file node is indicated by rectangle node. A workflow graph is known to be a directed acyclic graph, DAG. DAG is such a graph that each edge has a direction without a cyclic loop. Let me show an example of scientific workflow in astronomy. This is montage, a tool for producing a custom mosaic image from multiple shots of images. Montage package is collection of programs. This is a schematic diagram of montage workflow. The montage, uh, the workflow is divided into three parts. The first part is a projection of an image into a celestial coordinate. The second part is the correction of background brightness. And the final part is combining all the resulting images. Each part consists of several steps of tasks. Basically, each process is uh, each process deals with one image, one image. So processes can be executed in parallel. This is a graph of montage workflow. The direction of the graph is right wall. The leftmost nodes are input files, and the rightmost nodes is final input image. You can see a graph of scientific workflow is quite complex. Mm, 
in order to execute such a complex workflow properly, a workflow system is required. Workflow system needs to invoke tasks based on their dependencies. And it must assign a process to one of available computers. If the tasks are the independent, the system executes them in parallel. So far, uh, scientific workflow systems are developed mainly for computer grade systems. The problem is that the computer uh, grade system is hard to construct for scientists. So I think grade system is not the daily infrastructure for scientists. If you want to execute a workflow using a workflow system, you need to define the workflow in the language that the system recognizes. Many scientific workflow systems employ XML to define workflow graph. The problem here is human cannot write such complex XML, XML by hand. So it requires a program to generate XML. As a workflow definition language, Makefile is a good solution, since it is a domain-specific language to define task dependencies. Make has an extension-based rule to define multiple tasks at once which is useful to avoid redundancy. Another useful feature of Make is to skip finished tasks according to timestamp of created file. This feature enables the result of an interrupted workflow. There is an excellent Make-based workflow system it is GXP, a tool to manipulate cluster system efficiently. It is written in Python. As one of GXP feature, it includes GNU Make-based workflow system. It enables parallel and distributed execution of workflow. At first, I used GXP Make to execute workflows. However, I found that Makefile is not enough to write a scientific workflow. This is because Make is a built tool. Usually Makefile is written for a certain set of source files. If source files are different, Makefile will, will be different. The same file, Makefile is executed repeatedly. These features comes from the fact that Makefile is a built tool. But the scientific workflow has more different, uh, different aspects. The first aspect is that the same workflow is reused for different sets of input files. The rule feature solved it to a certain extent, but it is not enough for it because scientific tasks are not always determined from file name. The second aspect is that the task dependency is, is determined from not only file name but also parameters. A typical ex example is scientist, science data associated with geometry. Assume that I have a set of each set of files and each file is characterized by two dimensional region and I have to process overlapping area between two files. In this case, the workflow graph the right figure. However, su such dependency cannot be solved from file name. S so this case requires programming. 
third one is that case that entire workflow is unknown at the beginning of workflow. It will happen if the rest of output files will be determined after former task is finished. In such case, a uh, dynamic task definition is required. Dynamic task definition can be written in makefile by dynamically creating makefile during the execution of makefile. I feel it is tricky because it requires another tool such as awk to create makefile. Then, scientific work requires powerful and flexible workflow definition language. You probably know that solution. What is it? It's Rake. Rake is a build tool like Make. It has a feature of powerful internal DSL. It provides uh, programming power of Ruby. As you know well, task definition in Makefile is like this. Uh, then the workflow graph is drawn like this. <laughs> Programming power of Ruby provides quite powerful abstraction of task definition. This example shows the definition of multiple tasks by writing it in a loop. And what about dynamic task definition I sh showed before? Uh, what do you write it in REC file? To achieve dynamic task definition, I consider the task definition in task action. In this example, task B is defined in the task action task action part of task A. However, this example does not work since no task depends on task B. How to fix it? I use invoke method of task class. Here, the task B object is assigned to the variable B and then task B is invoked immediately after its definition. This example actually works well, and this is one of the ways to achieve dynamic task definition. Next, another issue is parallel execution. Rake has a built-in multitask multi method if you define a task by multitask method, it pre its prerequisite tasks are invoked in Ruby thread. However, multitask method has a problem. The multitask method creates the same number of threads as prerequisite tasks. If there are too many prerequisite tasks, threads consumes too many computer resources and it causes system trouble. Derek is a solution for this problem. Derek has a feature that only the specified number of tasks are invoked in parallel. Derek has another feature that all the independent tasks are automatically parallelized. It means that the multitask method is no more necessary. DLX implementation is like this. At the beginning of the execution, DLX starts the specified number of worker thread. DLX repeatedly tries the task tree and gets one available ex un executed task. After DLX includes that task, one worker thread decodes it and executes it. 
When the task finished, worker spread and queues to the queue, which is used to notify the next timing of task finding. DREC is not enough for the scientific workflow system because DREC does not have the following functions, uh, remote process execution, and second, dynamic task definition, since DREC does not allow invoke method. And DREC has a performance issue. This is the summary for now. I need powerful, uh, we need powerful scientific workflow tool. For this purpose, exist existing one is uh, Rake, which is powerful writing tool, and DRake, which enable parallel execution. The missing one is remote process invocation for distributed computing and scalability, which is required for workflow system. Our approach is to employ like file as workflow definition language and to develop an ex extension to RAKE called PRAKE for parallel and distributed computing. In addition, to achieve scalable I.O. performance, which is an important issue for data intensive workflows, we employ the GFARM, a wide area distrib distributed file system, which I will show you later. This is our work, Break. Break is a parallel and distributed workflow extension for Break. You can access to the repository at GitHub. Break features are uh, same syntax as Break, which means that if a workflow is written for Break, it also works with break. Second one is that uh, break parallelizes all the break tasks defined by task or file method. This feature is the same as the break. There is the third one is break replaces sh shell method to invoke remote processes by SSH. Final one is scalability. We employed SSH for remote process invocation because it is secure and SSH port is probably accessible in most cases. And I implemented a simple SSH connection class due to performance issues. Here is, uh, we take a look at how break tasks are parallelized. The implementation is based on worker thread as well as DRAKE. However, Ruby thread uses only a single core but not multi core due to GBL. Here we note that process processes invoked from shell method use much core and it also distributed to remote host through SSH. The plot shows performance evaluation of workflow consisting of 1,000 empty tasks. We see a performance improvement from direct by fa factor of 10. But now, some of you may be curious about file access in distributed systems. Our approach is to use distributed file system. Dif distributed file systems provide not only file sharing, but also consistent file timestamp, which requires for skipping tasks based on timestamp. 
many of distributed file system also provides optimized I.O. performance. I.O. performance is important for data-intensive scientific workflow. The left figure shows the case of NFS file system. In this case, files stored in a single storage are accessed from multi cores simultaneously. So storage I.O. becomes bottleneck. Instead, as is shown in fi the right figure, access to storage can be parallelized. This improves scalability of workflow. Therefore, distributed file system is necessary for parallel and distributed workflow system, such as break. Among many distributed file systems, we employ the GFARM file system. GFARM is a wide area distributed file system. It integrates local storage of every computer node and provides a file system with a single global namespace. GFARM is so secure as to integrate geographically distributed storage. GFARM is developed by Professor Osamu Tatebe at the University of Tsukuba as an open source software. Since GFARM uses local storage of each computer node, it has a unique feature that excellent I.O. performance is achieved when it uses local I.O. In order to use local I.O., the process must be assigned to the computer node where the accessing file exists. Now this task assignment is the role of workflow system, so I implemented the function of local hardware task assignment to pray. This figure shows the diagram of locality of your task assignment of for break. The point here is that the, there are sub queues corresponding to the accessing host. This is the result of performance evaluation of montage astronomical image processing, which I, I have shown before. The horizontal axis is the number of cores, and the vertical axis is elapsed time of workflow, both in log scale. The upper, uh, the upper line is the result of NFS case. In this case, the elapsed time increases even though the number of cores increases. You can see the NFS does not scale. On the other hand, the GFARM case, the elapsed time decreases as the number of cores increases. You can see the workflow achieves excellent scalability by using GFARM. Different three lines show different locality strategy. If the locality aware task assignment is achieved, about 20% of speed up is observed. I will show you the demo of break here. This is working uh, in, this is a demo of montage workflow using uh, computer cluster at, at our laboratory. This is simple demo interface using web brick. The left images are input images. The size is scaled by one tenth. And this is a rec file to this describe workflow. And it consists in 250 lines, and this workflow uses five nodes, 
uh, each node has two cores and push start button here and workflow started. This is a graph of workflow. Uh, red node uh, currently processing node and process finished and each node had the color of each node changed. And now uh, tasks are dynamically created. And again, uh, tasks are created. Also uh, created tasks <coughs> and processing and finished tasks finished and push here you can see the result image. <coughs> Our project is under development. Among future plans, we are studying to execute workflow on geographically distributed systems, and also we may made it for tolerant. In conclusion, <coughs> Rake is uh, so powerful to used for scientific language, uh, to be used for scientific language. As a scientific workflow engine, we developed Rake parallel and distributed workflow extension for Rake and the scalable I.O. performance, GFAM, while the area distributed file system is a good solution. Using break and GFAM scalability was, uh, good scalability was actually observed. That's it, thank you. <coughs>